Okay, it looks like we're just about to go live. Let's see, as soon as my computer says we're live, I'm going to go crazy with my imagination. And we're just about ready. I'm going to turn the camera on. If you're hearing me, get your pencil ready. I'm excited. We're going to draw some cool pictures. And we are... Let me see if it says we're live here. Hey! <laughs> I actually got it right. Thanks for your patience while I'm trying to figure out the technology. I have a big learning curve here. There's my picture. Hi! I am so glad you guys are drawing with me today. Look at, check out the picture. Oh, that way. Check out the picture. We're going to draw a chubby mummy marching in 3D. We're going to make that near foot look like it's really coming towards you. And that's our goal, is to make your drawings look like they have depth and perspective. The third dimension is depth. Okay? 30 days, 30 drawings. Every day we'll learn a little bit more about drawing in 3D. So let's get right down to the drawing. Let me turn that camera off and we'll switch the image over here. Boy, I'm getting better at this. I'm so proud of myself. All right, well, let's let's uh, get that get going. There we go. I am so excited. All right, well, oh, by the way, if you want to get my book, it's You Can Draw in 30 Days. It's a great book. I've written a whole bunch of books. This is my most recent. And uh, we're going to talk today about using these contour lines here to give uh, push and pull to your drawing. We're going to draw our mummy, and our mummy is going to be marching either left or to the right but just by controlling the curved lines, the curved lines, which are called, these are called contour lines. You see, we're going to make our mummy here. Marching, look at, there you are. Look at, you got, you got stuck on the bottom. <laughs> the bottom of his foot hey look at this wonderful view this was a, a good funny story um you remember the, the movie was it ants i think it was ant it was ants uh, or bugs life or ants i had had students of mine animate on both those movies and of course on frozen and kung fu panda and despicable me but i love it that one scene where the ants the queen ant and the inventor ant got stuck on the bottom of the kid's shoe and they were talking about their life and dreams and aspirations so we're gonna draw the mummy. Let's get let's get busy here. This is a different lesson. We'll be drawing dragons a little bit too. I am so glad you decided to spend part of your day, 15, 20 minutes a day, 30 days, the 30 day challenge. And I'm so pleased that you and your family and your classroom are accepting this challenge. Let's see. Let's try this grand experiment to see what happens after 30 days of you drawing and, and what happens to your inspiration and creativity. Look, here's the head. We're going to draw the big body here. Now, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the snowman. We'll be drawing the snowman, too. That'll be really cool. Not today, but that'll be another one of our... I'm going to make this a chubby mummy. <laughs> look at look at how chubby he is. I'm going to make this a chubby mummy. Look at Is that going to be fat, chubby? Look at This reminds me of the snowman. Look at This is one of our lessons here. Isn't this fun? Well, we do a lot of Christmas drawings, and we'll do Thanksgiving drawings, you know, and Halloween drawings. But this one, this is really fun. See how the hat opens up? But see how the three circles, they sit on top of each other. That's what we're doing right now. We're learning how to overlap and then put a shadow underneath to create that look. So let's, let's use that same idea. We're transferring information, okay? This is called transferable information. Say that. Say it. Transferable information. I'll teach you here these words of drawing that you can transfer and you'll use them for every drawing that you draw for the rest of your amazing brilliant genius life now let's take this this will be the back leg taper it down to look don't go straight across let's curve the curve the foot here now that legs coming back so the, the near foot right here is going to be coming out at you it's going to get bigger it's going to get larger okay so this guy see what I'm going to do here I'm going to draw this foot getting larger as it comes out larger and larger just scribble and sketch it until it feels right and let's see I'm gonna have this guy really getting he's taking one small step and then down here watch this. see it's small it gets larger that's called tapering it's also using one of those 12 Renaissance words called size okay now for all of you homeschoolers that are members of my art Mondays with mr. mark on markkesslerlive.com and all you classrooms that are are, are members of my Mark Kistler Mondays, Art Mondays, you can print up that chart. You print up all those reference charts. There's many, many charts on there. Just put a shadow on the ground that we're going to lift up that foot. So print up that. Now, 
Here, put that shadow here. Now, over here, I'm going to draw this back arm. Now, this one, see how this one's going to, see here? This one gets larger as it comes towards you, and this is smaller as it moves away. That's that word size. So if you have that chart, uh, you take it out and make sure you have it, tape it, or use a thumbtack, or put it to, on your cork board, or wherever you can see it near your art studio table, your kitchen table. Now, this arm's going to be bigger. This is size. Now, I had a few emails um, over the past couple of days asking me about the Art Mondays with Mr. Mark, my Mark is Alive site. And what was the difference between that and these 15 minute, 20 minute daily YouTubes? Well, the YouTube is just a wonderful challenge to get you drawing, a little video vignettes. My Art Mondays are full one hour webcasts that take place from my website. This is smaller, see? Called markkisslerlive.com. That's a membership site. And I would love to get your membership. I would love your support. I appreciate your business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, a, I'm an artist. This is how I make my living, and I appreciate it. Now, if you do want to sign up, it's $49 per family for a whole year. So it's a little more than a dime a day, and you have access to 100 hours of my drawing lessons. So that is just, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, offer. And it's a way to take advantage of my 37 years of teaching skill. I started teaching when I was very young, when I was uh, 14 years old, so I'm 52. Here, let's put, I'm going to put the darken in the edges. This is overlapping here. Now, uh, what are the difference for, the, besides it being a, an hour-long webcast on Mondays? Look, I'm darkening the detail in here. The uh, big difference is that we can interact live on the camera. I can... Uh, click a button and you can come on camera and wave to the world and show me your drawings. I love that element. You can text live back and forth. There's a text box over here. Also down here, there's a map of the world. It's so cool. It's so awesome. You can see the whole world drawing with us. So that's really, really, really cool. I love that element. Okay. So uh, that's at markkisserlive.com. You click the sign up and I'd love to have you guys sign up. Now, let's uh, take take this take this I'm gonna uh, clean up my eraser see I'm gonna clean that line up now this legs coming back so his chubby belly is gonna be in front right here and then there's this overlapping and I love the darkening detail someone asked me what kind of pencil do I use well this pencil is a HB lead a thick lead see most people use a, a 2H pencil like this and I love the regular pencil too but this is a thick nine millimeter. I love a thick nine millimeter. Most pencils are about five millimeter or seven millimeter. See, look at, we're gonna have this, uh, the mummy's marching across here. Now, would you, will you post, would you do me a favor? Would you post your drawing on Facebook? Would you, I just love that. Last night I had all these postings on my wall. It was so cool. I loved it. It was so cool. It's just, I would love it, love it, love it. Now, the way you do it is you friend me on Facebook. Make sure there's a picture of these wonderful birds back here, colored by the famous artist Rebecca de Groot. Beautiful coloring. Drop in your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. I'll show you how to get on the paper what's in your mind a rocket ship a pair of shoes a shooting star and some kangaroos have you enjoyed drawing today want to continue the fun head over to draw3d.com and join now and send post a picture uh, friend me on Facebook. This is the background. There's a thousand Mark Kistlers on Facebook, so make sure that the, the birds are in the background. And friend me, I'll, I'll accept your friendship and then post your drawing and I'll, and I'll be able to show it. Like here's here's a posting. Check this out. This is a posting that you'll see if you run down my wall. Check this out. This is so fun. Okay, Miss Rebecca de Groot did the drawing famous uh, art teacher here in Houston, Texas, and she did this with her class. Look, Look at this was the lesson. She did the Art Mondays the live webcast with me with her classroom. But look at that mummy. Look at this. This is so cool. I love this. And she posted this on I'll, I'm going to repost this later. But isn't that a great mummy? I would, and oh, look at she put her mummy in the 
on the magic carpet. These are all the lessons I'll do later on. Uh, oh yeah, look, we should do the the pyramids too. These are fun. And look at look at the hippo. This is a whole hour. That's the difference between the Mondays versus these uh, daily webcasts. These dailies are just a whole point to get you motivated and inspired to draw every day 30 days okay and thank you mr groot for sharing your drawings i love that and you guys post your drawing too on facebook make sure you tag my name if you post it okay let's shade i'm going to put the sun up here the sun's coming down now i just got an email someone saying slow down well you, you don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I get so excited to draw. I forget you guys are trying to keep up with me. Ah, slow down. Well, tell you what. <clears throat> I will post this, and you can rewatch it and push pause as much as you want. How is I know I'm going kind of fast. I'm going to use scribble shading on the side here. I'm going to blend it. I have my handy stomp. I'll be blending it in just a second. But this is going to be a wonderful character that you could write a story about. You guys are going to be these great author illustrators and storytellers put a shadow on the ground all the way across here a little bit of a shadow cast back behind here I just love this and we'll blend this out in a second okay I'm gonna put all shadow I just love it Isn't that fun how that's that leg is picking up Sun's over here so let's shade the side here you know what this one reminds me of remember on this oh, this is one of my my posters right here you guys can look at my art gallery store and you can see this but see how the arm is foreshortened and how this leg is foreshortened this is closer and this is farther away well we're doing the same thing this one right here this is closer and it gets smaller this is closer and it gets smaller we're using that renaissance word okay the there's 12 of those words all right there's 12 of the words and if you learn those words you can draw on 3d there's 12 of those words yeah I, I went to my post office box today and I had a, a sack full of mail. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, people wanting their free art card, okay? If you want to get your free, one free per family, I would love to send you one of my original drawings. I'll autograph it, okay? These are prints, you know, one of my original, you know, special print art cards. I'll sign it for you. I'll mail you a free one. Um, look at the rules. There's five rules on the pa paper. One of them is you have to send a self-addressed envelope. Number two is you have to uh, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. And number three is you got to send me one of your drawings. You have to include one of your drawings. Is that fair? That seems fair, right? I would love you to get a free card and to carry it around so you keep inspired to draw okay every day 30 days 30 drawings 30 days 30 drawings so subscribe to youtube send a self-addressed stamped envelope um you get to pick your card you go to my art gallery store and pick which one you 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 want now on the on that you go to markkisslerlive.com and click the contact tab and it'll tell you the rules here put that dark shadow under here now if you want it's not one of the rules I don't want you to think that you guys have to purchase any additional cards you don't have to at all I would love to send you a free one if you and your family want to have maybe start a little collection it'd be great I tell you how to get some extra cards for ten dollars or if you want to get a, a handful of them for 20 I appreciate the support immensely thank you but it is not a requirement at all to start with just a free card if you want that's great now but if you do want to get some more, thank you, parents and teachers, for your support in my campaign and my mission. It helps me a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, here, let's blend. Look at this. I love this. Do you love it? <laughs> Isn't this guy going to be cute? You could leave it just like this. You could be like the uh, the uh, dough, the cookie dough monster guy. Arrgh! Here, I'm using my Stompy to blend. Now, here comes the fun part. The fun part is when we start adding these contour lines. Let me look at the book. You can draw in 30 days. There's another one of my shameless book plugs. Amazon.com. Amazon, get 10 copies. Gift giving, gift giving. We're going to put these contour lines, all right? You see these? We're going we're gonna to learn how to do, control the direction with curved lines. Look at these tubes. You see how these lines are called curving contour lines? And by controlling the direction of the line, you control the direction of the shape. So I'm going to curve these. Watch this. I'm going to curve these a lot, even more than you think you have to. 
Isn't that fantastic? Look at that. Fantastic. It gives you so much depth, so much shape. See, isn't this cool? I made a paper puppet, and then you can use your smartphones, you guys, and you can have your your parents hold the phone, and as you do your script, you can write a script, and have you can have several. Let's say I have a, another character over here. Maybe, maybe the mummy and the teddy bear are in the movie together and there's a neat background if you want to do more of that paper animation I love it I think it's wonderful inspired by the amazing paper animating artist Brandon Ray check out the paper animation classes we have at MarcusAlive.com check out the claymation classes by Jamie Hazelwood and Tommy Sims check out the pop-up 3D art we have by famous artist Rebecca DeGroot. Check out the comic, making your own comic books by Marvel and DC comic superstar Rod Thornton. There's amazing, look at curving, curving, curving. These, it's just such an honor to have so many wonderful, talented artists share their passion and their skill with you. Every one of my teachers on the MarcusTheLive.com are all teachers I would have thoroughly enjoyed when I was uh, growing up, when I was uh, your age. Okay, I know I have a lot of adults drawing right now, but for all of you elementary, junior high, and high school kids, every one of the lessons that I post and every one of the art teachers that have joined my wonderful project at MarcusTheLive.com, the Art Mondays, um, they're all ones I would have loved to grow up with. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? See how these curves give your drawing shape and volume. That's called contour. Remember that. It's really, really cool. <clears throat> all right. Now, over here, let's get these. These will get smaller as they move away. Smaller as they move away. Oh, look at this. Once again, <laughs> I go past the 15 minutes. Oops. Do you think that I could? Do you think I could do any of these one single drawings in 15 minutes? Do you? Do you? Do you? I don't think I have any of my postings yet so far. Oh my goodness! Well, I just have so much to share with you. That's okay. Let me see if you guys. I'm gonna check the. Let me check and see if anybody's still on. Hey, I still got a whole. I still have a whole bunch of artists on here. Yay! All right. Hey. How you doing? You guys having fun with the Chubby Mummy Marching? Think of these wonderful stories that you can write, okay? Maybe draw maybe draw like 99 of them in a whole line, getting smaller and smaller and smaller as they move away. In fact, if you go to my student art gallery, uh, you guys, if you go to the student art gallery tab, click it, you'll see a couple student drawings of the mummies, and some of them did about 99 of these. It's really, really wonderful. So that's a great great one to practice now let's draw this eyes here i'm gonna draw the near eye look i'm gonna make ninja right give him ninja mask draw the near eye and the far eye is smaller that size okay you can clean up your extra lines isn't that fun this cute little guy he's marching along here then let's darken in that little uh, eye mask right the mask this is like could be like zorro the mummy I love that the contour lines of the wrap, the mummy wrapped here. All right. And let's see. I'm going to compare this one with uh, famous art teacher, Miss Rebecca DeGroot. She did such a wonderful look at her. Look at how, can you guys see that? Look at how great, how large that was, how tiny. Isn't that just fantastic? I love this little guy. Wait, look at that. <laughs> can you see it? Look at little guy riding. Can you see it? Let me turn it this way. Look, he's writing the, the... Isn't that fun? I can't wait until you post your drawing on Facebook. Uh, and make sure you tag me in the posting, okay? Make sure you tag me. I'm going to give him a smile here. I'm going to follow the contour lines. And give him a little smile. Make sure you put, put it on the on my wall. So you, you, put it, you post it on your wall and you put my name in it, right? And then I'll see the drawing. One drawing a day for 30 days. <coughs> 30 drawings 30 days this is so cool make sure you subscribe to my uh, page okay make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, please share these videos with your friends I want to see if we can get a million artists here put that horizon line let's get a million artists drawing in 3d what do you think a million artists one month 
30 days, 30 drawings, and let's just see what happens to global creativity. Oh, yeah. Imagination around the world taken off with pencil power. Pencil power. Here, I got this one here. Pencil power circling the globe. There you are. Whoa, mama. Pencil power. All right. Great, 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 great. I had oh, I got an email. Someone asking me if they can get a, a card for each member of their family. Um, I would love to send you let's do one card per family. Send me an envelope, and that way you can hang on the refrigerator, and you guys all share it. I'll sign it to you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for sending. I can't wait to send you a free artist trading card. And then oh, should we put a little belly button here? Ooh. <laughs> A little belly button. Oh my goodness, that was fun. Thank you for drawing with me. Let me get you guys back up on camera here and I'll say farewell. I'm so proud of you. I hope you had half as much fun as I do. I have so much fun with these daily, daily live drawings. Thanks for drawing with me. 30 drawings, 30 days. You're a genius. I can't wait to see your imagination just take off. And thanks for drawing with me. I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye, everybody. Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper, what's in your mind. A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some kangaroos. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Did you enjoy drawing today? Head over to draw3d.com and join now. Pencil power!